Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sword Haven with me, Regaton. Let's continue exploring Clam Reach. Have you killed a lot of monsters? Like dire wolves or giant spiders? Or, or, or flying undead minotaurs with fire shooting eyes and poisonous slime for blood? Let's do it. Yep, I've killed so many of that last one that they've gone extinct. Well, that was foreshadowing. <laughs> and that Minotaur is a monster we have to fight later in the game. Time for exploration. I forgot to mark. That stash we found outside the village. The road is calling. That is a lot of firewood. This broad-shouldered peasant lad waves to you. Well met, stranger. How goes it? Uh, same old, same old. Just passing through. Traveling, eh? Lucky guy. Sighs and crosses his arms. You're heading to Sword Haven, right? But why are you asking? Just want to know your plans. The gosh darn roads are as dangerous as a drunken barbarian these days. Not too bad, because I do intend to visit Sword Haven. Then here's a piece of advice for you. Keep your ear to the ground out on the thoroughfare. There are gangs of never do wells roving the countryside. They're mostly bark and no bite, of course. But some are real tough sons of chert. I'm not saying you're faint hearted, but there's no shame in running if you're outmatched. Thanks. Even better if you can find a caravan going your way. It's much more fun to travel with good company. Do you know when the next caravan's leaving? Nope. Things being what they are, with bandits and monsters on the prowl, caravans are scarce. Hopefully that'll change, but, uh, scratches his head. I wouldn't count on it. Doesn't that make your advice useless? Hmm, I suppose it does. But it's still valid, or it was, in more peaceful times. Oh, here we go. Why don't you show me the way? There's strength in numbers. Man, I can't. I got myself into trouble not long ago. Master even had to bail out my sorry butt, or I'd have ended up on the stocks. The stocks? How scandalous. I'd love to hear the full story, if you're willing to share it. Well, me and my mates from the local farmlands were out and about near Swordhaven. Had a whole afternoon to kill, so we went for a couple pints in the tavern. That's what some t uh, towny roughnecks decided to try giving us a bit of hazing. I called us goat fondlers, inbred yokels, yada yada yada. Word for word, a fight broke out. Crap. That was you being harassed. What would you do? Why, I'd bash the scoundrels. That's only proper. Exactly. So I burst the biggest goon's fat lip wide open. Smacks his fist into an open palm. And just like that, it turned into a huge brawl. Fist flying, the innkeeper whacking everyone in sight with his broom. A pig even got involved in the skirmish. Sighs. But the only fellow the guards managed to grab and lock up in a barn was, you guessed it, me. Why just you? I had a few too many ales before the whole debacle started. The rest of the fellows evaporated right when the guards burst in. I was too busy yelling threats and smashing things to pay them any heed. Did you manage to escape? Nah, I couldn't even walk properly. But well, good gracious, that's unlucky. You're telling me. They wanted to put me in the stocks. And you know what could happen when you're forced to kneel there for days, and worse, nights. 
face down, butt up. I mean, I don't know personally, but I've heard stories. Thankfully, the village elder bailed me out the next day. God's blessed that man. He was making a delivery to the Sword Avon Fish Market when he heard about my troubles and came rushing to help. Now my only wishes to repay his kindness. Considering he probably had to compensate the innkeeper for the damage you caused, that could take a while. Yeah, size. I guess that's the whole story. Is there a lot of work in the village? Sure, there's plenty. Our work of plenty. You looking for a job? Nod. I do. You seem to be the fighting sort. How are you like killing those two big lizards down by the shore, if you haven't already? Uh, would you mind answering a couple of questions for me? Now, I'm not much for answering questions. You better talk to the other villagers. Oh, very well, then. Goodbye. See you later. Let's see what's out there. So they were able to ask him to join us. I wonder if after we speak to the village head, you can we convince him me. to let the farmhand join us. We also never got his name. We'll speak to him again here in a second. Let's do it. The young farmhand stops what he's doing and looks up at you. Was there something you wanted? Nope, just passing through. Goodbye. See you later. Time for exploration. See you later, crocodile. I'm guessing that's the, the tavern. Let's see what's out there. It's locked. Trust me, it's unpickable. Wealthy peasant. This burly middle-aged man is staring grimly at a clay bottle of some local hooch. When you approach, he raises his head and greets you with a simple, Good day. Point at the bottle. What's the occasion? Ah, waves his hand. Life's be life. We got it. Uh, let's look him up and down. Rugged and weathered, this one seems like the sort who works a lot and speaks little. It's obviously paid off for him, as his clothes are clean, well kept, and even somewhat fashionable, though in a provincial kind of way. Uh, let's skip the pleasantries. I came here to talk. I? Who might you be, if you don't mind me asking? I'm, uh, let's just say I do all kinds of work. Are you a farmhand? We're not hiring right now, if that's what you're after. You are Dorno the Elder, I take it. Your son sent me. Oh, probably interested. Uh, what's that boy up to now? I've slain two lizard beasts that were plaguing your village. He told me to speak to you about it. Kill them buggers. Really. Enthusiasm seeps into his voice. That's a big weight off my shoulders. You've earned yourself a fat purse of uh, 50 dinars, friend. 50, please. For those monsters? I'm sure you can do better than that. Begging your pardon, friend, is all I got. I guess it's better than nothing. Here you go. Uh, do you have any other problems around here? Aye, we do. Stares you down. What? Are you offering to help? Sure, if the pay is right. Dorna the Elder exhales heavily before answering. He either doesn't trust you, 
or considers the issues plaguing the, his village too weighty for some dubious stranger. So, come on, I don't have all day. Nods. Listen, I'll be brief. There's two assignments that need doing. Killing a pack of wolves that's been pestering our cattle, and... There's a gang of Sodden Barbarians who set up camp in the woods near the river. You can bet your boots that they're up to no good. Alright, I'll try to help. Uh, good. Finding them wolves should be simple enough. Excuse me, had a frog in my throat. Uh, good. Finding them wolves should be simple enough. The room in the woods just after the bridge into the west. Well, why don't the villagers kill them? We were about to, but then the barbarians showed up. Their camp is right next to the wolf den, and who knows? Maybe they's in cahoots with those grey bastards. We'd be outnumbered if we went and started a fight. Got it. Now onto those barbarians. They appeared about a week ago, and told me our village is harboring somebody who wronged them. Now they're insisting we give him up to face tribal justice. But there's no one like that here. And that's exactly what I told him. If they carry on at their camp, spying on us, upsetting my people, and scaring away caravans. This has gone on long enough. You go ahead and settle this matter in any way you see fit. Chase them away, fight them, just make them disappear. Do that, and you'll have everyone's gratitude. Do you have any idea who they're looking for? They say we're hiding a vile killer who spilt the blood of their kin. Can you believe it? Of course, they didn't give us a name, or even a good description of the feller. Are you absolutely sure that no one is hiding in the village? Yes, lowers his gaze. At least not to my knowledge. Have they done anything else besides watching the village? At the moment, nay, thank the gods. The people here still remember the last barbarian war. Another kind of villainy that's like to happen when a handful of armed barbarians pitch camp on your doorstep. What can you tell me about them? The tribe is not familiar to me. Still, I know enough to be wary of them. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate their kind. A barbarian can be a merchant, a healer, mayhap even a friend. But an armed barbarian can only be one thing. Dangerous. Hmm. Why not let them do a thorough search? When armed thugs roam around the village, searching for an imaginary criminal, that'd be pure lunacy. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Good. Allows himself a small smile. You can find their camp after the bridge to the east. I also suggest you speak with the villagers. I mean, who knows? Mayhaps some drifter really did pass through Clamreach. Shrugs. Folks with a stain on their conscience often seek a priest's advice. So maybe Father Herkus, or our, our, excuse me, our Wadelot, knows something. I doubt it, but you ought to check, just to be sure. Right. Well, I'll be seeing you. Oh, before I forget, if you need any help, talk to my farm and... Treniota? He's got himself into a few scrapes lately. Draken and Horan near Swordhaven. It'd be good if you could teach the lad some manners. The finely dressed peasant is still sitting at the table, a clay bottle of liquor his only company. Aye, what you be needing? How's the village doing? There's as many troubles as there are fish in the sea. Barbarians giving us the old evil eye. Wolves roam in the woods. And that brick between Swordhaven and the local lords about the magic mines. Here, Topsy Turvydom. Can you tell me who's sovereign over this coast? That'd be the highway lot of Swordhaven. Us and all the other local villages are paying tithe to the dragon cult. As is the law, and as all the faithful should. Other than that, Everyone under His Holiness's rule are freemen. As for folks living under the heel of them noble families, that'd be a different tale. The poor buggers are as skint as the temple's rats, and can't even leave their homes without the Lord's permission. All in all, a miserable bunch. What do you know about the High Wade Lot? His Holiness Father Algamant, a sail from the mainland some years ago. Never met the man myself. The folks say he's a clever fellow. Scratches his ear. Can't say life's changed all that much with him in charge. If you ask me, that's a good thing. 
At least them priests know not to milk their flock completely dry. A serfdom is kind of dreary, if you think about it. Aye, that it is. Browns. As free folk honor our lord, not because we have to, but because he protects and cares for us, as the dragon and his gods ordained. Uh, I guess. In other words, you honor your lord because you have to. Eh, waves his hand. Enough about that. While I have our fate that Loima weaved, no point in discussing how things are, how they should have been. I already read that. I can I ask you some other questions? You have my ear. I care to tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell. I worked all my life, and God's willing, I'll work until the dragon calls my soul to the heavens above. What can you tell me about your village? Ah, our clan reaches a wholesome, dinky wick. What should we want to know? How was it founded? Jordan the Elder clears his throat, begins to speak from rote. You get the feeling that this is a story passed down from generation to generation. And so it was, 100 years ago, that the Emperor Kenan issued a decree, promising all freemen a piece of land in the newly conquered Nova Draconia, if they were willing to brave the road here. Uh, listen without interrupting. Amongst these lion-hearted men and women were our ancestors, who sailed across the Melina Strait and into the Stormy Sea, past the East Slurium Archipelago, onwards to the Gulf of Swordhaven. After landing, weary from battles and hardships, they founded this village, Clambreach, and settled here seeking peace and prosperity for themselves and their kin. Keep listening. In the early days, the local tribes troubled our forefathers not at all. In fact, they're even willing to trade. But as more and more people cross the sea, the heathen's tolerance for outsiders shrink. Provoked by cattle raids and ambushes, the freemen of Nova Draconia, under the High Wade Lot, are teamed up with the Order of Sword Brethren and put those barbarians right back in their place. Looks at you. 100 years later, and here we are. What can you tell me about the locals? You better ask him yourself. What do you do for fun here? Oh, plenty. Singing, telling stories, counting off on his fingers, playing Kirkat, and guessing games. Go to the temple and lighten the dragon fires. Visiting the fair, leaping over fires and searching for fern flowers on Herbal Eve, dressing up as ghouls and beasts before Surset Day, boozing occasionally. Plenty, I tell you. Come to think of it, frolicking is most all we do around here. Is there any work to be had? Uh, fishing, plowing, tending the cattle. However, if you mean something else, something of the adventuring variety. Aye, there may be some. You already know about my assignments, but the other villagers might have a uh, pan work too. Oh, uh, didn't I tell you already? Our ancestors came here a hundred years ago, built Clamreach, and lived aptly ever after. Well, sort of. I got it. I have a few other questions. As you wish. I heard any juicy gossip lately. Well, I'll be a fex loving cert servant son of a fox if I ever tattled in my entire life. Exhales. You better speak to our innkeeper, Dobril, if you're looking for gossip and other such a balderdash. I see. Uh, let's talk about something else. He nods. About the barbarian menace. The village headman shifts closer in his chair. I? I'm still working on it. Have a good one. I keep your wits about you out on the road. No problem. I'll do my best. It looks like we do get a companion. Time for exploration. And also The road is calling. I already spoke to her. Oh, this young fellow is busy with his work. You're a Trediota, right? Master said he could show me around the village. No way. Unless, did he really? Yes. I agreed to help him with some of the local troubles. Ah, that explains it. Perks up. Gods be darned. Uh, ahem. Thank the gods. Farming is hard work. 
So I won't say no to stretching my shanks for a bit. Then it's settled. Let's go. Let's do it. It has more health than I do. Oh, and I leveled up at some point. Alright, let's get that up to 50. I think we have to put points into lockpicking. We'll get that to 60 first, and that to 40. We'll round that up. Alright, so we can get... Pommel Slam. Attack SP costs us a plus 25%. The 25% chance it costs knockdown, a condition that disallows the targets to move or act for two turns. Then the target flying up to five steps away from you. Attack deals minus 25% damage. Deadly Display. Attack SP costs plus 25%. This attack targets everything in a circular area with a five step radius. This action deals no damage. Make the targets attack you exclusively for two turns. A 15% chance to make the targets panic. So affected will attempt to flee the battle for two turns. This action always succeeds. Ah, let's do half sword. Alright, so he has the shield splitter for the axe tree, or from the axe tree. It's a 50% chance to destroy the target's shield if the target has one equipped. This attack deals minimum damage. Alright, decent strength and endurance, so it'll probably act as our tank. has a hatchet. Okay, uh, we have a shield and boots for him. So it's a start at least. Cool, so if you do have a one-handed weapon equip, you do see the shield. Good to know. So we found work. I wonder if we can uh, rehire. Can I think her name me. is Nostra or Nostra. There'll be a team of three. Why do people have to die? I had an older sister who died from the pox. I never even got to meet her. Let's do it. Time for action. The road is calling. Let's see what's out there. Another travel point, which I guess just takes us to the temple area. You can count on me. Actually, let's step back outside real quick, and I'm going to use the map to see if there's anybody that we missed talking to. The child. At least not in the immediate vicinity. Let's just speak with the Nostro first. I assume we shouldn't have too much dialogue. Uh, Nostro Urheim wraps her fingers rhythmically on the table and listlessly scans her surroundings. How do you like this place? Drugs. 
Sure beats that tar barrel we were sailing in. The fire is warm, the food tolerable, the bed bugs modest in number. A perfect rest stop before a big journey. I care to join me again. You have worthwhile work. Sure, why not? I might need your help with something. Tell her about the nearby barbarian camp. That uh, sounds interesting. I'm game. Let's go then. Lead the way. Fantastic. Of course she didn't heal herself up since we last spoke. Uh, what is her lock picking? 27. Not very respectable. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a team at least. I'm up front, Just like that. Alright, I'm gonna call it here, and next time, we'll explore the tavern, and I guess head towards the temple area. We have a couple, it's more major quests ready to go, once we're done exploring the village. But for now, thanks for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next one.